Okay. Hello YouTube. My name is Emil and I am going to do a knife video because I got a package from France. I live in Sweden uh, and it's full of knives. So this is the package it came with uh, in and in the package there's a lot of other packages uh, and I'm just gonna go through them and uh, show you what it is. Uh, I'll begin with this one. This is a femme fatale knife. I have opened all of these and just touched the knife but I put them back together as they came. Anyway, femme fatale. It's a gift for my girlfriend so this is why this knife will be um, uh, unsimilar to the other ones. This is the knife. Uh, kind of like it. Uh, she got to show us the pattern. Uh, the femme fatale knives are, uh, I don't know, ladylike knives that uh, came in different patterns and uh, she shows this one. This was the last one uh, uh, in the place that I ordered from, which was uh, Coteau Central uh, from France. And um, yeah, it's a knife that she wants and uh, yeah, it's not really quality, it's, it was kind of cheap. It looks good and it's fairly stable. There's a some bait play up and down, none from side to side. It's got a line lock. It will do and uh, in an EDC fashion. Not the most uh, fancy knife there is, but uh, you know, it will do. And it's a gift, so it's her birthday next week, so. She will get that. And uh, then I'm going to uh, take this knife. Uh, it's really nice packaging. This I didn't have to open or anything. You like slide it here. And the knife, it's really, really elegant. It's from uh, Paraply or Le Prévu. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It's a really really beautiful knife. Uh, liner. Uh, um, it's got this uh, spring here that uh, locks the blade to place. There's no blade play and the spring is really strong and it's got a really good snap to it. Um, yeah, it's a really nice knife, and uh, yeah, there's not much more to say about it. I really like the design with the uh, blade form, and uh, yeah, it's beautiful. And it's got a nice little box, which I I don't know why, but I really like the box. You get uh, to see the knife, and it's a really like a sort of cute touristy thing with it it's uh, like yeah if you go on a tourist shop in uh, in uh, Provence or somewhere in France and you can see this kind of box and I really liked it for some reason then we have a Spanish knife Kudman or Kudman I don't know, have no idea how to pronounce it and this knife is really really elegant I really liked it it sort of looks almost like a uh, vendetta knife, but not quite. Uh, the vendetta knife is uh, from uh, Basque uh, Island. Uh, it's uh, one of those two islands in the really big islands in the Mediterranean, the French one. Uh, and it has a similar shape. But not quite. Uh, this one is a little more simple. It's really, really elegant. And uh, the logo with the elephant, I really like it. Yeah. And the uh, same thing here. Quite good spine. Not as much as snap to it. It's more gentle. Which is really good, you know. Uh, a silent lock lives longer. 
they say. And we came to this. It's a really nice little, I don't know, discreet box from the uh, French Au Sabot um, manufacturer of knives. Uh, I almost bought only French knives. This one looks like this. It's uh, yeah, the sabot. It's uh, also the shape with this uh, blade here, uh, sheep foot blade. I really like that, and it's got uh, like uh, ebony scales. It's not real ebony or anything like it. It's probably acrylic. Uh, I can't afford a knife with ebony. At the moment, I'm just a student, and I am nearby quite poor. Um, yeah, it's uh, very familiar if you remember the Palapli knife. It's a little bit more simple, but yet really, really elegant. I really like it. The sub. And then we have this from Avalier. This is a French, also French manufacturer. Uh, that's mostly famous for doing, uh, you know, uh, cooks knives and uh, those knives you have in the kitchen. But I saw this knife and I'm like, oh, it's a really, really uh, familiar, and it's really elegant. It's a really simple, looks very much like Ogonel, but not quite. Same lock here, you know, when you lock the blade, so you can't open it with a little hinge in this rotating lock. And you open the blade and you lock it like this and it stays put it's uh, yeah it's really much like the opinel knives that are really famous it's got a little different blade form uh, but yeah it's i really <laughs> liked it for some reason it weighs nothing and uh, it's uh, yeah cl classical uh, Farmer's tool. I really liked it, and it's from a really fancy brand, which is not known for making these kinds of knives. It's made for really, really, really fancy uh, kitchen wear. Uh, but yeah, I really liked it, so I, I bought it. And then we have a must in every knife collector's. Uh, collection and that, that's a Lagoy, a Lagiol knife. This is also made from Le Sabot, uh, which means uh, wooden shoe, like a claw. And this one has a really, really strong spring and a really nice snap to it. And it's, yeah, a, a Lagiol knife made with uh, 12C27 sandwich steel. So the steel has come from right where I live and to France and they, I don't know, hammered it and uh, sent it back. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, it's got a really nice guillotage, yet uh, quite simple but still, you know, nice. And the, the B symbol here, which um, every Lagiol knife has. It's made in France. I know where it's made, but I have forgotten what the village is called, where the Lissabon is. It's probably in tears, but uh, I'm not certain. Uh, yeah, really nice. It's got a little cross here. It's a really, really, really traditional Lagiol knife. And yeah, I had to buy one. And by the way, the package for this was not as elegant. It was a plastic bag, but you know. It's more of a touristy item, and uh, that's probably why it came in uh, such a package. And um, then we have the last knife, which is uh, made by Claude Dorsol. Dorsol. I really don't know how to pronounce the last name, but uh, it's a guy who makes knives uh, from Thiers in France. Uh, and uh, this is his friction folder. This looks like this. 
uh, I have a Ah, capucin, I think the knife is called. It's really simple, elegant and classical design to it. It's a friction folder, so it has no lock whatsoever this way. Uh, it just sits here with friction, or you can have your finger on it, or if you hold it like this, it won't shut because your hand's in the way. It's got a really nice little nail, little nail nick here that's uh, totally um, sawed out, and uh, yeah, it's really nice. And I really, really liked. Yeah, you see, you have a little finger groove here, so you can work with the knife without it closing on you because your fingers in the way. And something I really liked is when you have this closed, and uh, let's say you have it in your pocket. This little thing, which is really nice that it's curled up, it looks really good, sticks out of the pocket and I really like that for some reason. So you can just take the knife, open it and uh, yeah, use it for your cutting task for the day. It's uh, yeah, really nice. This is, uh, by the way, just my first impressions. I have not used any of these knives ever uh, but I will everyone will be a EDC for like a week and I will come with a proper review probably in the future when I say more what I like and uh, don't like about the knives uh, in use but yeah this is the Claudosom really fancy knife and the last thing I bought was this little let's see a little leather pouch for uh, small knives. I usually make my own of these, but uh, this one was quite cheap and yeah, I liked it. And it uh, fit really well with, uh, example, the Lagiol or uh, uh, maybe the uh, Paraplu knife. You have this in your um, pocket. Uh, I usually carry my knives in my right pocket which has been a problem because I also always carry my phone in the right pocket so it gets really scratchy but with this uh, it uh, doesn't scratch up the phone as much anyway. So yeah that's my first impression I will come with uh, another video in the future and thank you very much.